Hello everyone, welcome back. In this session, I will tell you how to solve the practice problem multiplication table. So first we would understand the question and then we would move forward towards the solution part. So let's start. So basically in this we would be given n. n is the value of the number whose table we want to print, right? So we would be given a value n and I need to print its table from 1 to 10. That means 1 into, for example, if the value of n is 3. So it would be 3 into 1 is 3. So 3, 6, 9, then 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27 and then 30. So I just need to print this. Okay. So I would be given a value n and I need to print the table for that value. So how to do this? It's an easy concept. We will use the for loop. Okay. In for loop, I will take for i in range. Okay. Now the range would be from 1. 1 is the starting value. And the ending value, I would write 11. Why 11? Because we know if I state n as 11. Okay. So the actual end would be at 11 minus 1. That is 10. Okay. Because the value of n is considered 1 lower than the value that is written okay so that is why 11 and then i would just say i multiply by n that means n is the value right so every time for example value of i is 1 so it would be 1 into 3 then the value of i would increase so it would be 2 into 3 then it would be 3 so basically i would just multiply the value of i that is the for loop value and print the table so this is the concept that i would use to solve this question so guys i hope the concept is clear to you so now let's move forward to the code part so what you need to do is you need to open the practice portal in practice portal you need to go to the school section basically in the difficulty you need to choose school to open the school section and you need to find the problem multiplication table okay so once you find it you need to click on solve okay now let's solve this question Okay, so the question is opening. Now let's read the statement. Print the multiplication table of a given number n. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to code the solution over here. Okay, so we need to code it over here. So let's do it. So what I would do is I would complete this question in one line. So see it carefully. Okay, so basically first I would write return. Okay, one minute it should be in you know lower caps return. After return, I would add circular brackets, okay? Now, in the circular brackets, first thing is I multiply n, right? That is what I taught you. So, I multiply n, okay? Now, what is I? I have not declared what is I. So, now I would declare in the form of for loop, what is I? For I in range, okay? I is in range from where? I is in range from 1 comma 11, right? So basically first I stated about the multiplication and then I stated the for loop and I did it in one line, okay, with the return statement. So I hope this is clear to you guys. Now let me click on compile and run and check if my code is correct or not, okay. So first step is clicking on compile and run. Let's wait, it is getting compiled. We need to wait. Okay, the compilation is complete and my output is matching with the expected output. So now what I would do, I would submit the problem. So now let's wait, it is getting submitted. Okay, let's wait. Okay, so the problem is submitted successfully and this is how you solve the question multiplication table. So I hope you have found this video helpful and you guys have enjoyed this session. And thank you so much everyone for joining me today. Thank you.